Brick Maniacs, it is time for another episode of Brick Mania TV. Welcome back, Brick Maniacs. We have a, uh, well, what is this? What's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I don't know if this is a, you know, a yeah, late war, you know, very late it, war. During wartime, you know, every, every uh, country, they got to be very um, innovative. Yep. <laughs> and they come up with all kinds of things. Here we go. And this, this one, uh, you know, one of the generals must have said, increase production <laughs> immediately. <laughs> immediately. Um, um, so this is the... Panzer Jaeger Tiger, Panzer Jaeger Tiger, Ferdinand, German heavy tank destroyer. I'm reading off of Tiger something. P, yeah. P. Wow, that's a, that's a mouthful. Um, that is a mouthful. What do you, yeah, what do you, what do you want to talk a little bit about the history, a little bit? Yeah, so this was a German uh, tank destroyer. I think the actual one probably looked a little bit more like this. <laughs> yeah. Let's put this one back on that. here. There we go. I just can't <laughs> help but show off that new... Uh, Yes. Muzzle brake, because it, it is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, this is this would be the um, it, it, it was it was larger actually than the tiger. The tiger was pretty feared, had great armor. This one um, was supposed to be like a, a tank hunter. Um, they got the eighty eight barrel, but they made it longer. They redid the breech so it had less recoil. Um, I think they carried 50 rounds in there, and uh -huh. their, the uh, accuracy and the distance that they could shoot out um, was more than really than you know whoever they were going up against, like T-34s, Russian T-34s. They were out at, the, at a distance of T-34s, couldn't even hit them yet, and they were taking them out. Um, and it was really effective, really good uh, armor. Uh, it was a beast, and I think there was one battle or something, they uh, they took out like 250 wow. uh, Russian tanks, T-34s, and they had a loss of 13, and um, wasn't even all due to <laughs> being right. knocked out. <laughs> wow. Um, so. Yeah, it was it was a force to be reckoned right. with. Yeah, well, and I mean, this is just this is an interesting like the design of it itself is kind of lots of sloping, lots of the um, yeah the hull design was. Um, uh, it, it was something that they kind of already had, uh, just modified a little bit. And the original top parts with the casement was they, they had a turret and they were trying to uh, figure out in the prototype stage um, how, what, which way would be best to utilize it. They wanted to mount a larger gun. And they're like, okay, what's the best way we can do that? And they ended up putting this big casement on and right. adjusting the gun and it worked out really well for them. Uh, another interesting thing is they mounted the, men the engine in the front, which is really interesting because the Israeli uh, main battle tank, the Merkava, um, which means wagon, but uh, <laughs> they, uh, they actually modeled their tank off of this, putting the engine in the front, which is a lot more protection for the crew. So even if a round from a tank did penetrate, it would hit that right. engine block, still it's a protecting lot, it's the crew. A, it's a lot more, a lot of metal that it has to go through. Yeah, like exactly. Yes, interesting, interesting, cool. Yeah. Um, any other historical things, or if you want to just get right into the build? Yeah, we can get right into cool. the build. There's, there's a little bit more history. You guys can um, look it up. Yeah, right. I, one more quick little history sure, thing. Sure. So, so there's, um, this looks very similar to the uh, elephant. And some people are like, well, is this the Ferdinand or the Elephant? Uh, sometimes known as the Ferdy. Mm -hmm. The Ferdy would be um, uh, Ferdy Porsche. He was the guy that invented it. So they, they kind of actually nicknamed it uh, Ferdinand or Ferdy after yeah. him. But the, the main difference would be is the radio operator here for the uh, Elephant would have a machine gun in the front. And the commander here has a hatch, but the Elephant would have a cupola. Okay. So that those are like the main differences. Yeah. Um, and also, both of them, uh, they didn't have secondary armament. They didn't have a machine gun, which, to their detriment, <laughs> they figured out later was, right. uh, you know, didn't really work out so right. well for them. They had two pistol ports here, which we did include. 
on there, but that wasn't, <laughs> didn't really help them too much. The Russians pretty much figured out that the front armor was just, it was too much. Uh, so they would just kind of hide out in their trenches and stuff and let, let this thing come to the, past the front lines and then just hit it from the sides. Oh man. <laughs> Molotov cocktails and stuff. They actually yeah. had this whole booklet figured out on, they uh, handed out to the troops on right. how to actually attack this thing and take it out. Um, it was, it was kind of heavy and didn't uh, necessarily do that well sure. as we get stuck. But sure. as far as as far as firepower and armor, yeah. that was really good. But anyway, on to the kit itself. On to the right? kit itself, <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, again, I mentioned the, uh, there's lots of just interesting slopes on there and in this build it looks like you had to account for a bunch of different angles. So that's, that's interesting there. Yeah, um, at the designer meetings and stuff, we, we did um, go over um, yourself, Dan, Cody, Eric, John, we went over, when I presented it, there were some things that uh, you guys liked and some that were like, maybe we could improve something. Um, at first, the, the side, um, I had it like four studs high all across, so it was kind of up here. That looked a little too high. Sure. Dan suggested maybe put it down to three, so I brought the whole thing down to three, but then it looked too short. But it does actually have this angle, it does, it does. the slope. Um, and I really wanted to capture that and get it in. Um, and you know, Cody mentioned, you know, bringing that up. Eric had a suggestion on how to do it, so I tried to work that all in, and it, it, it turned out well. I, yeah. I think it, it worked out. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, it, is, it is to scale, 135 scale. So we, we print out schematics, and we match it up, and it works. Um, you know, rolls really nice. Rolls, it rolls. <laughs> There's some, uh, some fun play features on this thing as well, if you'd like to go over that. Yeah, just, uh, you know, this one's actually fairly simple. It does have all these angles and stuff, but um, as far as hatches go, yeah. I mean, you have your driver's hatch, you got your radio uh, operator's hatch here. Um, if you wanted to convert this to an elephant, you could probably easily, you know, get a machine gun right. out there. Um, so you could put your driver in there. Yeah, that, that's what I always like that when you're able to convert kits to other kits. It gives you a bit of, a bit of flexibility there. And yeah, I mean, there's not too much difference between the front sure, and the right, right. So I mean, you just replace the front with to do. machine gun port and then the uh, couple up there, you have to change that out. But yeah. Um, cool. the, uh, the gun does elevate and depress. Um, the, um, uh, What's that called? It gun holds the gun lock. in place. The travel lock. Travel lock. lock. There we go. Lock. Thanks, Dan. Uh, does work. <laughs> sort of. I mean, uh, and then you build it into place, but it yeah, does hold it. You just, it. you just pull it out, yeah. and that works just fine. Uh, simple enough. I mean, we can't recreate everything, but you know, it looks there, right. there are many different versions, many sure. ways you can do it. Uh, we got one more hatch yeah, in the back here. Like I that. really wanted to capture that if possible. Um, we were lucky enough to get this large circle. The, the defining feature for the back is that large circle with mm -hmm. this hatch that they would get in and out. And actually, the middle part was where they would chuck the uh, casings from the you know the spent shells. Um, but I, I was happy right. to get that in. And then we have your printed mm -hmm. um, Vulcan Kreutz on the mm -hmm. side. And you get your two hatches on top. Your and obviously the entire top is removable. Yes, entire top is removable. It is, uh, as we mentioned on the uh, box, it is a very spacious interior. Yeah, I think you can <laughs> you can fit the whole crew in. So Here, let's tilt that towards I, the camera. I did yeah. I did put some uh, room inside. So I really can... like the um, the shell, the uh, ammunition rack. Oh yeah, we should mention that the. Brass color, I think, yeah. is new. This is the first time it is being offered. Special Ooh. Brick Arms. I think Brick Mania has offered it before in like flat silver and, and yeah. gunmetal dark. This time. is the first time you're having the, uh, uh, what's it called? The, the, yeah, the 88 shell in, it's a nice, uh, in the brass color. That's a, just a cool, simple ammo rack. Gotta turn it this way. There we go. Yeah, so that was a nice little feature I, I you know we want to try and keep the kits cheap yeah. you know or, or more uh, affordable but something like that is you know we can throw it together what's what's it going to add to the kit it's it's worth it it's, cool. it's a nice little Super thing cool. and you could always copy that design and add more yeah. in the kit on your own yeah. um, but right now maybe it's only offered in the kit so I don't know if it's offered anywhere else, so get it while not, you can. Right now, no, <laughs> who knows? Exclusive to Brick Mania. Um, and then you have, well, one thing I should show too, is I made the uh, the breech that you can start to load it. I can't really do it backwards, so I'll just 
show you here. So, you so it can, doesn't fit all the way in, but it is it good to like fit. set up if you're setting up a little exactly. mock so or interior show, shot. You can show people. Exactly. You can show some minifigs right. uh, loading it up. Um, what else do we have here? You got some extra tracks, mm -hmm. uh, which is a nice fun. feature. And that, that's what, I mean, if you look at pictures from Ferdinand's, that's what they would have. Yeah. Uh, look at these you got your shovel on the side. Buttoned up here. What else? The back head just has that muffler cover. Here, how far down do these go? I'm gonna let, I'm gonna uh, let you do that. I'm gonna yeah, break this kit. flush. Nice. Yeah. So those are these are uh, like periscope yep. uh, plates yep. for the driver. Um, actually, there's one other thing here. If you remove the gun huh. and you take this off, what do we got? If you really wanted to <laughs> put an engine inside, I didn't include the engine, but you guys could always do that. There is this whole panel. Look at that. Comes out. So I haven't seen that before. That's cool. Yeah. So more room. You can put the engine in. It really is a spacious and interior. Left it We're not accessible. lying. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of thought that goes into these designs. Yeah. Uh, we're not just slapping it together. Um, we know a lot of people can do something similar at home, but you know we have the brick mania way, so we right. we try and you know um, you, have, you have your own techniques. Bump it up styles, and, yeah. and keep those standards high. Cool. Yeah. So. Comes with a uh, printed. Uh, minifigure over here as well. You've seen him before. Um, a Stug? Yep. He originally debuted in the Stug. Has a different face on it. Uh, yeah. Slightly different. If you take off the head, you see he's got a little scar up there. <laughs> oh, look at that guy. He looks angry. So. Yes. Yeah, I got that. But angry. printed front, back, and sides. So. Inside. No sides. Well, side of the legs, yes. Yeah, so. No side of the torso. Side Still 360. 360. Um, yeah, that's cool. That's, that's, that's the, this is the kit. Um, but wait, there's, <laughs> but wait more. there's more. We're trying something really special. You, you might have seen these in some videos kicking around. Um, camera guy put together this really cool 3D model, and we've both been, uh, camera, camera guy and myself have been printing off. We, have, we both have 3D printers, and we've been making these large scale muzzle brakes. We also have the 135th scale muzzle brakes, which, which we can put on this model, but we can show you something even cooler, yeah, can't we? Cool. So we've been we've been uh, working on a pack that goes with the Ferdinand sold. It's just an add-on pack. What are we calling it? It's the Ferdinand Action Pack. Dun, 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 Check dun, this dun, out. Dun, 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 dun. So it, it's it's a little different. We're we're kind of see, we want to see uh, how what you guys think about it. Um, how cool yeah, this is, is this? This is a fully this is a sticker pack and uh, a muzzle brake um, action pack. And if you guys like it, you know, we'll, we'll make more for more tanks, so we'll see. This is our, this is our first test of this. Um, yeah, it's, 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 it's something else. Look at that. <laughs> it's so That's cool. That's pretty cool. So it, it's, it's, this thing is covered with... Magic? Magic <laughs> and <laughs> stickers. So there, I don't, know, I don't know the count of how many stickers are on here, but there's a lot. And it's representing the actual uh, camouflage from the Battle of Curse. Operation, uh, what was that? Oh, I'm blanking. Citadel. Citadel, yeah. And if you look at uh, pictures online, try and find this, this it's going to look similar to this. Yeah. I mean, this is, this is quite the sticker pack. Yep. Um, not including the, uh, the cool muzzle brake. Right. But you throw this all together. Uh, it's, 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 yeah. it's pretty cool. <laughs> so these stickers were put together by our design department. Uh, Slam put them together. Our, uh, uh, we have a crew of a few graphic designers, so he got a chance to put that together. And camera guy designed this really cool uh, muzzle brake here. Um, and it's just, this thing is crazy. <laughs> if so, you like it, we'll do it on more. <laughs> yeah. So let us know what you think in the comments. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, I don't know what else. Yeah, this is it. Um, comes with uh, comes with nice printed instructions. Yes, the kit comes with <laughs> printed instructions, cool stuff. Nice, cool new box design. Brand new box. Yeah, yeah. Really cool. <laughs> so, uh, changing changing gears here. Yep. Um, Yitzi, this, uh, this is your last episode, I understand. Yeah, this is my final kit at Brick Mania, yeah. last episode. Um, I am moving on. I have uh, my own uh, company, JBrick, which I am fully focusing on go. now. But uh, 
been here nearly five years uh, and it's been a real pleasure every step of the way uh, every every member here of the Brickmania team really really enjoyed uh, working with um, not just the designers <laughs> it's, it's a big crew here mm -hmm. uh, the retail stores the road crew um, it's it's been an absolute pleasure I hate traffic I should, hate to be a strong word. I dislike traffic, sure. but coming here every day was was <laughs> really was really enjoyable. Uh, sure. It's like I don't really mind traffic. <laughs> it's kind of kind of nice coming from work, coming home with a smile. Um, you know, my kids every day. You know, wearing the Brickmania t-shirts. Hey, Dad. You know, you know, going to Brickmania. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What'd you do today? Which tank did you make? All that. So it, it's been really cool. Um, you can still find me on social media mm -hmm. and stuff. Yeah, you'll uh, still be around. You know, yeah, 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 I'll still be around. Um, but I really want to thank um, Dan, Daniel Siskin, for um, taking me under his wing. <laughs> uh, you know, first for uh, hiring me, of course, and for um, teaching me everything I know about Lego, really. I mean, anything that I knew before that I thought I knew. You know, I, <laughs> I, I came in first with, uh, like, hey, this is a flat. And it's like, no, it's an attractive yeah, tile. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that. <laughs> And then uh, first time sorting, even you were like, uh, how are you sorting? I'm like, well, I'm taking out the bigger pieces first. And you're like, no, oh, Dan. It's like, oh, maybe Dan's sort out the colors first. He's okay. got a method. <laughs> yeah, so I got to figure out how to sort. And how to, so all the way through the whole mm -hmm. process of um, learning how to sort and build and design and all that, I mean, I'm forever grateful and, and thankful. Um, you know, hopeful to see you know, each other all again soon. Absolutely, um, absolutely. Yeah, no, it's been, it's been an absolute pleasure. Yeah. So, well, thank you for joining us on this crazy ride uh, oh, of Brick Mania. Um, I guess we wish you luck uh, for all your future, whatever you're up to. <laughs> yeah, no, I I, yeah. I really appreciate it. So, it's, it's yeah, been, absolutely. It's been a pleasure, Lando. Been a pleasure. And we have a we have a little gift here for you. Oh, <laughs> so it's it's a 3D printed muzzle brake well, just thank off your kit. So, <laughs> thank cool. you for joining yeah. us. Um, and thank you for joining us. Yes, thank you. Um, with that, I think that's the episode. So for more information, check out brickmania.com. Thank you for watching.